to come through the general election and I beat the incumbent that had been here 12 years. But God knew me when the citizens didn't know me. But the citizens of the second ward, they learned me. And by that, they stood by me through every storm that the Lord allowed me to go through. And in doing this, the citizens of the second ward allowed me, little nobody, it don't count for much, but stand for what's right, allowed me to become the only, the first African-American woman that has been elected in this city for a third term. When you stand for what's right, when you stand on dignity, then you can only prevail. And I look at the citizens of the second ward not as my constituents, they're my family. I don't know about any other ward in this city, but the second ward, I consider them my family. And they have called me for eight years. I've taken 3,000 phone calls, and each one was personal. It wasn't business. It was personal. And that's the way I look at my people in the second ward. And I look at the people in the, citizen, the citizens of the city of Flint, Michigan. I look at them all the same. I was elected to do a job, to serve the people, and to be a servant to the people. And that's what I am. And I believe and wholeheartedly I've made friends, possibly made enemies. But you know what? I love them all. And I will continue doing my job that I was elected to do with dignity and stamina. And when it leaves the heart of Jackie Poplar, when it leaves the heart, because that's what I operate from, when it leaves this heart right here, that I will step down and I won't proceed in this office any longer. But right now, the fire, it burns too deep for the city of Flint. So I want to thank each and every one of you for whatever you did. If it was a prayer, it was a hello, if it was your vote, I thank you. And I want to thank my pastor for this opening prayer today because it just lifted me a little bit higher. Thank you, Pastor Fuller, for all that you do in the city of Flint. Thank you. Well, good, uh, good afternoon, and first of all, I, I want to give um, all honor and praise to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, I want to thank the residents of the Third Ward for electing me to um, my second term. Um, I try to do the best job that I possibly can. I call back everybody that calls me, and I try to call them back within a day, no later than the next day. Um, I want to thank my dream team, my mother, my Aunt Shirley, my Aunt Lou, Margaret, Miss Roberts, my significant other, and, and Quincy Murphy, because those were the people that got me through this. Um, and I have two other folks that couldn't come because they had prior commitments. That's Miss Metcalf. Well, actually, it's three. It's Miss Metcalf, Miss James, and Miss um, Miss um, Murray over on Genesee Street. They were the ones that did my calling for me. They helped me immensely. Um, I got out, I knocked on the doors, I did what I needed to do to communicate with folks. Folks know that they see me in the neighborhood. I'm not one that you, um, you won't see. I ride my bike through the ward, I go and I talk to folks. I'm not scared of my neighborhood. I'm not scared of no place in the city of Flint. I'll go anywhere and I'll talk with anybody. But I just really appreciate um, the support um, that the residents of the Third Ward have in me. I want to also um, say thank you to my pastor, my, my Pastor Reginald Flynn. Um, I'm glad you came out. Thank you very much, Pastor Flynn. It really means a lot to me. Um, as we move forward, I'm going to do the very best job that I possibly can. Um, I pride myself on doing that. Um, I've always been the kind of person I read everything. When people think that I'm not reading, I'm looking at it, I'm analyzing it, and I'm going to have my opinion on it. 
Um, I didn't go to college to graduate this past August with a master's in public administration from the University of Michigan with honors not to use it. So, so as, as we move forward, um, my prayers and my thoughts goes out to each member on the city council because we have a difficult task ahead of us. We know that we're under an emergency manager right now, so we have to work within the framework that we have right now, but we know that it's going to come a time and a point when he's not here, and we have to be able to work together for the betterment of this community and for the common good of this community. So um, that's just my pledge um, as we move forward. Um, we need to learn to work together, and we're going to have our differences. Everybody has their opinion about everything. So, you know, we have to, you know, look over whatever the opinions are, deal with them, and then try to move it so that we'll move the city forward. Thank you, and God bless. Uh, I'll try to be brief. I'd like to uh, first thank uh, my wife, Maria, for not divorcing me when I told her I was going to run again for the seat. Um, uh, she's, she it certainly wasn't her dream to, to, uh, for me to be here, but um, she has supported me nonetheless, so thank you. Um, I've been humbled by this opportunity that the uh, residents of the city have given me, um, especially in the Fourth Ward, uh, to again be here uh, for the third time um, with a brief uh, vacation in the middle there. Um, I hope we leave, um, as we move forward, I hope we leave the politics and the personality at the door. I don't believe that uh, we've got time for that anymore here in the city of Flint. Um, you know, I, I hope that we all look at the big picture, what's best for the city of Flint, not what's best for Josh Freeman or what's best for Nolden or what's best for Kincaid, but what's best for the, um, best for the city of Flint. Uh, I know that's certainly what I intend to do, and I hope that, um, uh, you know, I think ultimately we all want the same goal, and that's, um, you know, a stable city of Flint. Um, and I hope that that's what we all work towards in that same direction as we move forward from here. Thanks. Uh, thank you very much. Is it on? Okay, there we go. First, I would like to say I give all praise and honors to God and Lord Jesus Christ. Um, I also want to say I thank my wife who worked hard with me through this. Um, staying absent for a long time. Uh, thank you for that. I thank my family who is here who supports me. I thank everybody who supported me. I thank Sheldon Banks of Serenity Funeral Home who got out and told people to vote for me and they did it and I thank him as well. But we know that this is a historical moment for me. Amen. It's, not a, it's not a mystery nor is it a secret about my past. But I want people to realize that this is the intervention of God into our personal affairs. Amen. And that whenever God, through his divine mercy, sends someone to a suffering people on a suffering region, he Amen. always sent the one who suffered dearly or suffered just as great as the people who are suffering. Amen. It could be nobody but God. Many, some years ago I was gone, but today I'm here. Amen. And this is all praises to God. Amen. And um, I like to say I give all praises to God for that. We know when he sent Moses to the Pharaohs, he told Moses to free the, free, the, free the Israelites. And Moses said, who should I tell them you are, who I am? He said, tell them I am who I am. Amen. We know that Paul had a history. We know that Paul used to be Saul. We know that Saul used to create notorious acts towards people, but he became Paul. And then he wrote the book of Corinthians. And nobody never looked bad at Paul. Nobody speaks about that. But it's okay. Because nobody can change whatever God has in place. And whatever God wants for you, nobody can take it away from you. So now my purpose, my purpose is, I'm walking into my purpose now. And they say the saddest thing in life is to live and die and never discover it. I've discovered it, and I know what I need to do. Now I'm duty-bound to the people of the city of Flint. Not just my ward, but the city of Flint. And we need to work together in order to bring some resolutions to the problem that has crippled us. And we need to work hand-in-hand -hand with the emergency manager so that he can have an easy ride, and he has the easy ride through our assisting him and him assisting us, and we'll come back at a better time to bring better results, better resolutions, new principles, and we'll get the problem done. 
so this, this, so this, this, this is a historical moment for each and every one of us. I think each and every one of us is being sent here by God. It's no mystery. It's no mistake. It's all the way that God wants it to do. Each and every one of us is a script and a book. Every step we make, the page is turned. But each of us together as a whole makes that one book. And this is why the book can never be separated. If we take a page out, the book is alterated. We can't take a page out. Keep the book as the book is, and let's live accordingly to it and walk closer and closer into our purpose. Because when we discover the purpose, we make a better world. We make a better people. We bring resolutions to problems that we never thought that we can resolve. And this is what I want to do today and every other day. I want to be a loyal servant to my community. I want to be a sincere and genuine servant to my community because this is what we need, and this is what we've been in need for since yesterday. Day, and today we're going to have it, and I promise you that. Thank you, and may God continue to bless you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. As, as civility comes over the house, as civility comes over the house, we understand there's a lot of emotion that goes on, but I would w wish you all good afternoon. I'd like to thank God, and I would also like to thank God for my family. Uh, to my wife, Cynthia, she's home ill today, so uh, she could not be here with me, but I will be joining her soon today. But my mother was able to stand in her stead, and my oldest daughter, Taylor, is with my mother, and I want to thank God for them. Also to the residents of the city of Flint. Just one word that I can describe it is I'm just truly grateful to be allowed to serve this community in the fashion that I have. Amen. And in the fashion that I will continue to serve. I will continue to work with my colleagues, and congratulations to you all to make a better community, to work with the emergency manager down there early, to our mayor, Dane Wiling, uh, to, and also to reaffirm some of the things that Carl Bukowski, one of the authors of our current charter, just to reaffirm the commitment that we all have obligation to fulfill, to make this community a better place, to increase the quality of life through public safety and services, to our police chief, James Tober. We will work together, and I hope we will all work together to increase safety in this community. Amen. To our city attorney, Peter Bay, to create laws and legislation to help increase the quality of life for all residents in this domain. Amen. To our clerk, Arnez Brown, who's been a guider and a teacher to this council. I'm very grateful to you all, and as we move forward, as Josh Freeman said, we hope and we have the best intentions to put all personalities, malice, envy, jealous to the side so we can lift the agenda of the people and never should the agenda of the people fall to the second seat of our own. <laughs>